Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on creating a custom page 404 not found page. So essentially speaking by default you'll see something like this um, come up in your Django application. So let's say you're working on a Django project and you head on over to a page that does not exist within your application. You're going to be greeted by the following page um, here that says page not found 404. And this occurs if you have in your settings.py file true in terms of your debug status and you have no allowed hosts. Now, let's say, for example, you're getting ready to deploy your application and you want a custom um, error message to appear in place of the 404 page. So let me show you what's going to happen. So let's say we set debug to false and allowed hosts. We can just set it to all for now, but assume you have your own domain name. And we're still on the random um, page here that says page not found. And let's say we were to just go ahead and restart our server. And let's refresh here. It's now going to show not found. It's going to say the requested resource was not found on this server. Now, essentially speaking, what we want to do is we want to customize this page right here. Now, the reason I showed you this page is to give you clarity into understanding context and what we'll be able to do. So you won't be able to change the custom, the default, should I say, page not found error message page here that says 404 once while you're in the debug true state. In the false state, however, okay, that says not found, you'll be able to change this. So this is going to work for you better down the line because of course, if you want your Django application to be deployed and for security reasons, you want debug to be set to false. Okay, so just a bit of clarity. So if I set this now to true, you remove everything allowed host, this is in debug mode. You're going to, of course, see page not found. If I set this to false and of course, add in a wildcard, for example, and to refresh, this would be the page that you'll see. And this is what we want to essentially customize when we put in a random page on our application. All right. So what I want us to do now is just to ensure that we have a simple Django project. So you must make sure you have your own Django projects. And as you can see here, I have a simple application where I can register and log into my account. Very simple and easy. Of course, I've already pre-configured URLs, views, templates, etc., and all of that. So make sure you've got that simple Django application up and running. And then I'm going to go through all of the details that you need in order to add in a custom 404 page not found um, web page. So essentially, if someone were to go to a page that doesn't exist in your application, such as, um, let's say, about, assuming that we have an about page, it's going to show not found, but essentially we want to customize that to say, okay, page not found, or we want to add in our own custom page, essentially, that's what we want to do. All right, so that is what to expect in this video tutorial. All right, so let's uh, get started. Now the process is very easy, okay? So all you're going to want to do is head on over to your app directory, which in my case is CRM. Then you want to navigate to your templates directory at the app level. And as you can see here, I have a subdirectory in my templates directory, which houses my dashboard, index, login, and register.html pages. Now for clarity here, if your server is running, what you can do is just navigate um, on your own application to see where all your templates are housed. In my case here, as you can see, it's in the CRM subdirectory under templates, dashboard index, login and register. So here's my index page, my register page, and my login page. I also have a dashboard page, but that's just an example for you. Now, if you want to override the default message that is shown, as you can see, as I referenced earlier, if we go to a page that doesn't exist, it's going to say not found, the requested resource is not found on this server. Now, if you specifically want a custom 404 page instead of that notice, what you can do is in your templates directory at the app level, you want to make sure you create a 404.html page exactly as is and make sure you don't put that particular template in another subdirectory. It needs to be at the core base of templates. Very important that you remember that. So in my case, I'm going to right click on templates, say new file and call this 404.html and it needs to be explicit. And in here, I'm going to put in some content. So I'm going to say H1 and then within that H1 tag, I'm simply going to go ahead and I'm going to say the following which is, sorry, this page doesn't exist. 
it was a sad face. Very simple. So make sure you add in some content. So anything that you want to customize, you can just go ahead and add it in there. It's really very straightforward and simple. And we've got that set. And as you can see here, it's clearly it was clearly in the templates directory itself and not in the CRM directory that I have. And all you need to do is make sure that it's in your templates directory core as follows. And that's all you need to do. You don't even need to set up a view. You don't need to set up a URL or anything like that. It's straight and forward. Just go ahead and create that template make sure it's in the right location. Then what you need to do, very important, you need to restart your server. So go ahead and do a fresh restart of your server. Then I'm just going to refresh the page I'm on and now I'm going to go to a random page and see, we can see here it says, sorry, this page doesn't exist. So we now have our own custom template in place in place of the old message. Okay. And you can see it will work for any page that we don't have. You can put whatever you want and it's going to keep on rendering that. Now, of course, just to go back to the old way of doing it, if you don't want to have this anymore, you can just simply delete your 404.html page. And there is a catch to this. Okay, you're going to notice that even if you go back, it's still going to show this page. If you want it to go to the default, you need to stop your server and you need to explicitly rerun your development server. Then if you were to go on ahead and add in something random, it's going to go to the default saying not found the requested resource was not found on this server. So just something I wanted to mention so that you have an idea of how you can manage and um, set everything up accordingly. So that's how you can go ahead and set up your own custom 404 error page in Django in the simplest way possible. So that's it guys for this video tutorial. I just wanted to show you how you can manage this with your application.